My name is Dr. Adi Matinuko. I'm going to talk through the conduct of a vaginal bridge delivery using um, the mannequin in front of me. As the bridge distends the perineum, it's important to ensure a couple of things. One, to make sure that the dorsum of a baby is anterior, so you can see that immediately in front of you. And also, it's important to consider the possibility of giving episiotomy to allow um, access, easier access to the baby. I would generally give a right mediolateral episiotomy at this point with a pair of scissors. Then, as the bridge distends the perineum with maternal effort, you would think of delivery of the legs. Sometimes the legs would just deliver spontaneously as the bridge descends. If the leg does not deliver spontaneously, then with gentle pressure in the popliteia fossa of the baby, you would ease out one leg at a time. Once that has been achieved, the mother continues to push and with the help of gravity, the baby descends further. Your next next landmark is the cord. You easily see the cord. You don't actually put traction on the cord or do anything to it, but it's useful to note the time from the delivery of the cord to the delivery of the baby, as you do not want this to be protracted. The mother continues to push and you are looking out for the scapula so that you can deliver the shoulder. You will note that your support on the baby is mainly on the pelvic girdle with um, your thumbs on both sides of the spine like so. When you get to the scapula, one of three things could happen. The arms could deliver spontaneously. If that doesn't happen, it could be that you have easy access to the top of the shoulders and you are able to very gently sweep down each arm um, in front of the baby with minimal support and movement of the baby. It might be that you do not have easy access to the arms of the baby. Then you need to implement what is known as the love set maneuver. For that, you will support the baby as described previously and rotate the baby such that the spine of the baby is perpendicular to the spine of the mother. At that position, you will then tilt the baby upwards 15 degrees and rotate the baby 180 degrees such that the spine is perpendicular to the spine of the mother but in the opposite direction. As you get to 180 degrees from your last position, you will tilt the baby about 15 degrees downwards and then you will have access to the top of the shoulders of the baby, the shoulders which were posterior before and now anterior and you will sweep this down gently in front of the baby. You will again support the baby in the pelvic girdle, tilt the baby upwards about 15 degrees gently and rotate 180 degrees such that the spine is perpendicular to the mother's spine on the opposite direction and as you get there you will tilt the baby downwards gently 15 degrees so that now you have access to the top of the other shoulder and again you will ease this down gently in front of the baby again supporting the baby in the pelvis in the pelvic girdle you will rotate the baby such that the spine is upwards Probably not, but when um, you have a new cow arm and one arm is on top of the neck or both ways, you will tend to rotate in the direction of the fingers initially. Your next landmark is the nape of the neck of the baby. It is useful at this point to the baby on your non-dominant arm and use two fingers on the miller eminences of the baby. It is also useful to consider covering some part of the baby at this stage to minimize heat loss from the baby. With your dominant hand, if you introduce two fingers 
on one on each shoulder of the baby and the other on the nape of the neck and encourage flexion of the head as you lift up the baby to deliver. At this point, your episiotomy would have allowed you easier access to the baby. Once the baby is delivered onto mother's abdomen, then you can clamp the cord. And cut the cord to resuscitate the baby. After the baby is born and being resuscitated by a helper, a skilled helper, you can you deliver your placenta and suture any episiotomy. You need to think of utilizing the forceps to deliver the aftercoming head of the bridge. Thank you.